All right, what is up, guys? Uncle Forty here. Uh, happy Thanksgiving um, to all of you guys across uh, America. Uh, to those of you out overseas, um, happy Thanksgiving. If you guys don't celebrate Thanksgiving, uh, just enjoy that. You know, this is a holiday. Have a good time. Um, an honored tradition of this channel uh, with Thanksgiving is we've always made a deck profile uh, involving birds. Uh, last year, I believe, was. Uh, Black Wings. The year before that was like Nuatori Black Wings with uh, the uh, Rescue Rabbit uh, to be able to special summon them. Uh, this year I went and visited uh, Pojo, um, visited the uh, Lyrical uh, Lanathia thread, um, found a build there that was really cool. Um, actually, it's the only build that their communities come up with. Um, I figured I'd go ahead and profile it for you guys. So um, if you guys want to check out uh, the Pojo side of things, uh, they get very good discussions going in some of the threads um, in the uh, deck discussion area. Um, and I, I find that really cool. Uh, so yeah, what what is the Lyrical Lunasia? Yeah, I'm probably destroying the names, but um, I was making fun of them because they look like boys in costumes. But they are birds. They are level 1. Um, I've always kind of been a fan of the uh, level 1 engine. Um, per se. Uh, it was an old level 1 deck running around. It was like, pff, what, 30 monsters in it? Um, it was really cool. It was like High Monster Beat level 1 um, quite some time ago, quite some years ago. Uh, Mystic Piper, you know, <laughs> King Kaboya has always been uh, a troublemaker, but um, it's kind of given a refresher course to level 1. So, the Lunasius. So, this particular one, uh, Turquoise Warbler, uh, pff, I'm just going to call it Turquoise. So basically, I believe they all have the clause. Yeah, if you control a wing type monster, you can special summon it uh, from your hand. This particular one, uh, if this card is special summon, you can special summon one lyrical Lunasia monster from your hand or graveyard, and you can only use that effect once per turn. So uh, basically, junk and grows out additional stuff. Uh, Sapphire Swallow. Uh, once again, if you control a wing type or a winged beast monster, you can special summon this card, and one level one winged beast type monster from your hand. So it gets called for a friend, um, and. Once per turn, a win XYZ monster using this card on the field gains this effect. If this card is XYZ something, you target one lyrical and honestly monster in your graveyard attached to it. Uh, most of the monsters require that you have additional materials on it uh, to gain extra attack. Um, and then the last one over here, the uh, Cobalt Sparrow. Uh, once again, if this card is special summon, oh, this one. If it's special summon, you can add one from your deck to your hand. Uh, so this doesn't have the uh, special summon uh, clause. And then a win XYZ monster using this material. Uh, cannot be targeted by card effects. Really, really good. Um, just a generic thing down here. Uh, Assembly Nightgale, I believe this was the one they were talking about, has the OTK potential uh, with Stoic. But it's two or more level 1 monsters, gains 200 attack for each material. This card can attack your opponent directly, so just as a little thought, wherever the fuck's on the field, you just go right by. Um, this card has a material. It can attack a number of times during each battle phase, uh, up to that number of times. So, three materials, three attacks, attacking your opponent directly. Once per turn during your player's turn, detach a material from this card. Uh, the recluse announce your monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, you take no battle damage. So, uh, keep that in mind. But um, three times eighteen hundred, or three times six is eighteen hundred. If you have four materials on it, that's four times eight hundred. But our good friend Stoic Challenger. You can only equip one Stoic Challenge. Um, equip only to a face-up XYZ monster that has XYZ material gains. 600 attack for each card at uh, attached to a monster you control. Any battle damage your opponent takes involving to that monster is doubled, but its effects cannot be activated. During your opponent's end phase, send this card to the graveyard. When this card leaves the field, destroy the equipped monster. So, let's just talk about uh, this. So, assembly, for the base math, Three materials, so that's six hundred. Uh, add another twelve to it. Uh, you know, attacking your opponent for twelve times three, um, and then that battle damage is doubled. So you're going twenty-four to forty-eight uh, to almost killing your opponent. But four materials on it will kill your opponent. Um, it's a really cool build in OTK. And then there is uh, recite Sterling, uh, two level one monsters. Uh, this card has a material. Um, uh, this card is XLC7. Take one monster on the field against three attack and defense for each material currently attached to it. So this will aid in your furry little friend here, uh, gaining extra attack. Um, 
Once per turn, detach material from this card. Add one level one main beast monster from your deck to your hand. Any battle damage from attacks involving this XLZ summon monster is also inflicted to your opponent. So, i just ran this thing, deal 2400 to your opponent. But you have multiple ways to decay your opponent, which is extremely cool. Um, especially, uh, your main game plan is you want to see assembly uh, with Stoic. Uh, so, deck list here. Uh, three Lone Fire, three King of Blue, uh, triple Evil Thorn. This card's fucking stupid. It just tributes on it. Deal 300 to your opponent. Oh, pop out two more. Auto rank one. Uh, one Glow Bulb, uh, triple of the birds. Uh, three Just for Confident. Who doesn't love this thing? It's so fucking stupid. Uh, one of three Effect Failure. Three Institution for a triple thousand eyes restrict. Also, he's a level one sucks of your opponent's monster. He, then you can. Yeah. <laughs> this moves threats out of the way. It's also level one. Uh, one for one, triple Where Are Thou, one Upstart. Uh, one Foolish, Triple Twin Twister, and Triple Stoic. Um, the extra deck here, um, in particular build, uh, I put a couple of extra level 1s in. I mean, there are 5 slots effectively for you to work with. Um, but uh, 3 Assembly, 2 Recite, 2 F0, uh, 1 Slacker, uh, one, 2 Utopia Roots, uh, 2 Dolahan, and Triple Thousand Ice Restrict. Um, your slots you get to work with are basically my dual Hans, my Utopia Roots, and my Slacker. Slacker's not super good, uh, but I mean, looking at your rank 1 pool, I mean, what what can you particularly do? Um, I did want to kind of mess with Lionheart, but there's nothing really great. We don't have Princess Sprite yet. Like, we had this, like, Sil or not Sylvan's, uh, uh, the one Spy deck would be real good. Spirals would be good, but we don't have it. But, anyway... Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Um, props to the Pojo thread for coming up with this list. Um, hope this kind of gives you a little bit of a more generic direction. Uh, those of you playtesting this deck wants to go. Um, I really think that this deck... I'm not going to say it's going to be Tier 1. We, we know this. Um, but it's got the potential to be... Uh, it, it can get there. I've seen some crazy shit happen in this game. But yeah, guys, happy Thanksgiving. Um, happy Black Friday. I'll probably be doing a video on Friday uh, morning to talk about what is going to actually be uh, happening where you can find the best Black Friday sales, Cyber Monday deals. And well, guys, uh, birdies out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard. M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.